peace can be a funny thing. Peace doesn't come because you're apathetic and you don't really care what's going on. Peace doesn't come because you're in a good place or a very beautiful place. Peace doesn't come because you're well-trained or equipped. In the book of Romans, Paul says, we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character, character produces hope, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Now I've had some sufferings that nearly did me in. And they say looking back hindsight's 2020, right? So now looking back, whether it was a hard relationship or a difficult job, I can see how the process of suffering led to endurance, led to some really good character building, which led to hope, which all led to realizing that I don't have to live in shame because God is with me and God's love is being poured out upon me to help me grow closer to Him. I love being able to sit in the shade and cool off when it's hot outside. This is what I think it's like with God's love washing over us. When we can be at peace in the shade of God's love, we find pure peace because we know the Holy Spirit is with us. We can face the future unafraid because we know that even our sufferings can make us stronger. We know that God loves us no matter what and that God can use all things for his glory. I don't think I'll ever like my sufferings, but I know I can be at peace in the middle of them because I know God is with me. His presence is all around me. I'm basking in his love and in his grace. God bless.